rules today. First of all, if he did, that's 100 out of lots and lots of choices that he didn't. But most likely he did not. And he's like, I'm going to tell this person that I find her attractive. You shouldn't – at the very least, you should just be like, thanks and go about your day. But the idea that you're offended by it, and not you guys particularly, but that a lot of the women are like – you need to see more to me because I wrote in my profile that I have a PhD. Sorry. Well, the bikini picture distracted me and you put that on there and I did notice. That's fair. I know a, a girl who um, on one of her uh, social media photos yesterday, she put this whole long quote and it's about finding inner peace and some some sort of woo-woo-y thing. But she was in like a glamour shot. It was like a modeling shot. And I'm like, she didn't know a way to just put that picture out. And she's like, I don't really want to just put the quote out. So I'm going to try and marry the two and see if I can distract it. Listen, if you think you look good and we think you look good, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about that for five minutes. I mean, I think women should just accept compliments. That's all I, I think mean. they can speak to your girls out there. I mean, I just, I mean, why not? Who cares if he means it or not? It's a compliment. And it might not quite be the right word. Guys, Get out your thesauruses and come up with better words. But if he fumbles and it sounds like pervy, it's got – we're all pervy. But it's got just as much probably that it's rooted in nervousness and awkwardness than it is anything sinister. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Be like the – we should have an environment like the Europe. You like it in Europe. You need to like it in uh, Tulsa. Well, the alternative's worse too. I know I, as a woman, do not want to go out of my way – to start conversation with men. I love that they approach us. I love. And then if we don't say it for a long time, then. We're offended. <laughs> we are. Y'all um, just can't win. I'm so sorry. Yes, we can't win. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, thank you for listening to the and great the love show. debate. That's the end of the show. I think we can win. You can. Absolutely. I don't necessarily. It's not winning and losing, but we want to be in the game. And if we take compliments off the table, the game starts to die. Mm -hmm. And we don't want that either. You don't want the guy to be talking to a virtual version of Kayla online. And then that version says, thank you. You're pretty too. You're handsome too. <laughs> and then he's having a virtual chat with your avatar. Yeah, that's weird. We don't want that too, but that's what's going to happen if we take away the male's ability to, you know, somewhere between passive and pervy is the answer. Mm -hmm. So if <laughs> pervy is a 10 and passive is a one, let's try and get into the four, five, six, seven range where we're acknowledging that I find you attractive, bordering on desirable. I would like to get you know, to know you better. This is the only thing I know about you right now is that you look great with your blonde hair and your tight skirt and your high heels and whatever it is, you know, we used to, you want to take things out of the bar where at the bar, it's all about that. And you want people to approach each other in real life. We have to be able to say that you look good with your basket of groceries. Or just start complimenting women during the day. I think so too. But a lot of, we, you know, can we compliment you at Starbucks? Yes. Some, you say yes. I mean, make sure so she's had her coffee, but my absolutely. point is, this is not, I am not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to change this. Um, it's the girls who are going to have to be louder. It's the ones who like it or the ones who think it's, it's normal mm -hmm. to speak up and say, guys, we want you to say this. We want you to notice. We want you to comment. You want you, we want to be desirable to you. We want you to be attracted to us. Don't go just to video game world. Don't oh, go on the guys' no. hunting weekends. We want this. Come back. We want this. And it's on the women to speak up mm -hmm. because the ones who are drowning it out are the, you know— we are independent women, and we don't even need these creatures. Uh, it's so sad. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean, you're, everything you're saying is so true, too. I mean, men just aren't really being men anymore. And I think it's, I mean, it's our fault because we're right. shooting and them just, down. Just to even say that, the idea of this, you know, there is there is toxic masculinity. There is absolutely to toxic femininity right now. Mm -hmm. And it is killing the spark. And the compliment should create the spark. That is the metaphorical rubbing of the stick together. Yeah. I noticed you, you noticed me back, and I said something. But even going past that, in the relationship, do you know, as a working woman, do I really need a man to to open my door, to pay for me, this yes. and that? Uh, well, we love that. Do I actually need them? Absolutely not. I but, know, we hear but that, that is, all day long. But, but and, and yes, and that's a part of the problem. It starts with a compliment, and it goes through the entire relationship where women are acting, you know. See, I think you do need the compliments. I think you yes. need them. And the women are like, I don't need them. Well, you don't need them from strangers, but in a relationship, you absolutely need them. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I couldn't imagine being married to a man 10, 20 years down the road and he didn't give me some kind of compliments. But vice versa, too, right? Like, I need to compliment him, too. Um, or they feel needed. Yeah. They feel like and it, and, it, and it's how them. you see them, you know? The, the, the difference, you know, when you love somebody, the difference between them not looking great and looking fantastic is usually chapstick. Like, they, just the <laughs> minimalist of effort, and yes. it's like... They're the same, and you see them the same. Well, if you want to get to that point, you got to start somewhere. And when you want to start somewhere is, I noticed you. And if a guy walks up to you and says, like, hey, I noticed you, like, that, that's not good either. So if we're just stumbling <laughs> over ourselves and you're like, oh, my God, you're so hot. The intent is not necessarily negative. It's just <laughs> male stupidity. You're a man. What do women do to you when you compliment them? Does it matter the state? Does it matter the state? I'm good at it because I know I think about it. I think about the reaction. I also don't dole, dole it out like a regular a regular woman, like somebody <laughs> who comes in here. I will tell them and I will use the words like you look great, fantastic. I will use words that I think their girlfriends could use or whatever. And I intentionally not pervy about it. But I'm comfortable doing it because I think it's normal. And taking the comfortable doing it and thinking it's normal takes the nervousness and the awkwardness out of it, and that changes everything. But some will respond to it like, same way you said earlier, I bet he says that to everybody, or he thinks that's just being polite and I look like shit and whatever. Their reaction's not always better, but I'm more likely to say it than somebody else because I think they do want it. Like, I'm more likely to notice you got your hair done than most guys. That's, I think, somewhat of an asset in life. So you're just I'm saying like, you pay attention. Yeah, I think I pay attention because I think we should pay attention. And I'm also paying attention because I'm like, if I can figure out what she looks like, make her figure out how crazy she is and what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> yeah, I think, guys, you got to pay attention. Yeah. And I think you got to think things through to the next level. But I'm trying to even the playing field for just any guy here. And any guy should be able to say, you're pretty. I agree. Even as simple as that, I, I think you're. I think you're really pretty, you know. <laughs> and if and if you don't, nothing is. You might not date that guy because he said that. My point is, you shouldn't find anything wrong with that. I agree. Uh, yeah, I really want to. I wanted to argue with so you. So, what are your three? <laughs> what are your three uh, pronouns that you want in your compliments and your signature line? Do you know? Do you have the oh three? Oh my gosh, you're not giving me any time to think about no, it. No, I know. Well, imagine us. We don't have any time to think about it either, and we have to guess. I mean. You don't want to hear cute, right? I don't mind cute. Like Some girls hate pretty. cute. Why? Because they think it's it's asexual. Yeah, I'm some women don't like it. Or it means you're short. Oh. Yeah. Girls like that, though. Girls like being short, right? I agree. Guys like being tall. I'm not saying that it's wrong. <laughs> no. I'm saying the reception, because I've, I've asked this question a lot of times. Okay. So I'm like, don't call me cute. Maybe because you're not sexy if you're cute. Maybe they're they're looking for something else. That's so and weird. some girls are trying to put out cute. They're trying to put the, the yeah. Cubs hat on and be cute, <laughs> and then you're not going to have sex with me, but you'll notice me. So there's that too. So get, get, you're off. Don't you're off the hook yet? Kind I know of, I'm not kind of off the hook. hook. All right, your Gosh. three are. I already told you. I mean, it, like you have beautiful eyes. No, not eyes. Not, it's got to be one word. Give me one adjective here. Take the eyes out. That's a noun. You're right. Stunning. Is that gorgeous. too much? Oh, I love I like gorgeous. Gorgeous. Stunning. You are absolutely stunning is a good one. I it love is. stunning. If a beautiful. woman minds that, delete. <laughs> like, so delete. Because she's no, a bag of problems her. you don't want to deal she's with. She's insecure. Like, you are absolutely stunning. Yes. That is a good I one. I love that. You are memorably beautiful. Oh my God, Add see? the memorably takes it away. Yeah. Take, it takes the sting away from the beautiful. And it's different, right? It is different. Just be different. So put that in your signature line. What? Just be different. Just be different. Do you have a link to like note cards or like like we should notes we, we should. No, I'm going to ask you guys at the end to send me your. I'm going to ask the listeners to send me your list of pronouns, and we're going to give the because the most common ones are usually um, hot, pretty, beautiful, cute. But it's just like those you said, like with four. fox and stunning. I mean, I think yeah, those are fox just, is bad. Do, I, you ask a hundred girls, see if anybody minds that. I don't think anybody say, would. It would just. Ma- I mean, it would make Foxy me laugh. Lady. It would make me Foxy laugh. Lady. Do something different that's not something that you think you like here every day. You're such a fox. I love There's it. N- nobody would mind that. And if, if you're listening and you mind that, that's on you. I agree. What 100%. are your, uh, yeah. Manny, what are your uh, pronouns? Do you have a preferred pronouns to put in your signature line now? 
I take them all. <laughs> no, I, I do take them all. I'm like, I love beautiful. I love pretty. I love cute. I love anything. I love, I just, anything I just love being complimented. Anything that's perceived as a positive should be good. And yeah. that's what a compliment is. I agree. That's what a like, compliment good for, good is. Good for you going good, out of your way. Good for you that I noticed whatever you did. Yeah. Yeah. Not, it's, oh, that skirt. Not that. I mean, <laughs> what woman doesn't want to be noticed? That's my question. You know, like. Oh, I, we are in a well, society you, no. of women who want to be noticed. Don't dance on the banquette and then wonder why the guy came over and he wanted to buy you a drink. It's because he noticed you dancing on the banquette. That was the point of you dancing on the banquette. Yes, yes. exactly. When they stop noticing you, that's when well, then you start freaking out. Well, that's right. when we bitch again. Or when the boyfriend <laughs> or the one you love stops complimenting on you or start recognize, stops recognizing yes. that he, it doesn't even matter the noise around you, I think you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Yes. Take that. Yeah. Agreed. Remember it. Okay. Remember it. All right. Good job, you guys. Uh, this is the first time that you have been on. You're not getting off the hook on this, even though you've been <laughs> on the show before. We play something called Worst Date or First Date. So you have to give us either the worst date you've ever been on or the absolute best first date you've ever been on. Your choice. Oh, no. Um Worst All date. my dates are amazing because I'm so pretty. <laughs> I do have good dates. <laughs> all right. Well, then then like, give okay. us the best first date or the absolute worst date. Your choice. I, they're all pretty. I mean, again, they're all pretty great. Nothing substantial, but, um, you know, they all go well. And to me, that's a victory. <laughs> that um, a, that's a good baseline. I think. I hate you right now. Worst date. I love dating. I love I love getting complimented. Um, I don't get offended like that. Um, but worst date, I did have someone. Um he was, it, it, what, it did become kind of too much, right? Like this guy was always complimenting, always aggressive. And it was like a, I, I think maybe it just, you do, you, you wear women down. and Aggressive, they say that's yes. a good word. Whatever aggressive. it is, don't be aggressive. It's, that's a good It becomes too to much. Out. Yeah, because yeah, you can tell if women are into it or not. So, you know, we're having dinner and then the conversation, you know, starts normal. Like, hey, let's talk about each other. And then it goes into like a scare, like I know the mafia, like so if this doesn't go well, like oh, I know, God. and I'm like I, I'm in I'm in Nashville, like wh- who knows the mafia here? Like I'm we're the Nashville mob. Um, there's no there's a Nashville mob, like but I don't no, know. know. I'm yeah. like yeah, not that I know of. So I'm like, well, that's that's terrifying. It, it just and it just kept getting worse and worse, and it was, you know, of course, like how much money I have this and that, but the the I remember that the mafia. I was like I. Yeah, I, you can't. Don't bring up the mafia on the first. Day. I think I drove. I think I think I actually drove that night. Um, drove him? I no, I didn't get picked uh, up. I just met because I wasn't. I didn't really want to go on the state anyways. Um, you well, know. you went into it with a bad attitude then. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, you know, here I am, just Poor you know, good guy. for him, giving me compliments, and you know, he's he's you know nice enough. And I, I think I did. I think I drove around like the city a couple times just to make sure nobody was following. <laughs> Oh my god! I, was just I, didn't, I can't believe you didn't go to the bathroom and like call me or call somebody. I, you know, I yeah. think I was about to. I'm sure I was texting you the entire time. But <laughs> right. Just so you know, that's, I'm at this steakhouse and uh, that's not good. Don't hear from me. Like, yeah, yeah don't threaten your dates. Yeah, don't say. <laughs> I, I just, let me sit with my back to the wall because somebody's after. But me. you think I should have known? Like the 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 over aggressive women do respond yeah. to aggressive. And Aggressive's bad. It's be bad. assertive. Don't be aggressive. Too much. Be assertive's confident. Great. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Kyla Cook. You have the worst first southern date. accent. It's so bad. That's spot on. That was so Australian? bad. Um, I don't know. So yes. am I doing best or worst? Your choice. I'm going to do best. I actually had a really good date not that long ago. There you go. Um, he picked me up, which I love. And actually, he came to my condo. He was going to pick me up. And I was like, well, we're drinking, so let's nobody drive because I don't want to get in your car. Okay. So we went to a rooftop, watched the sun set. And then we went to a really nice restaurant where he'd He'd done the reservations, which I love a man that's assertive, doesn't ask me a million times where I want to eat, just pick a place, do the reservation. He carried the tray. <laughs> <laughs> Did he go to a mate and three? Oh my God. Do you know what a mate and three is, people out there? Tell them what a meat and three is. It's, it's like cafeteria style. It's, yeah. you know, a meat and three Sides. Uh, veggies three or whatever. Sides. Yeah. Okay. Everyone loves a meat and three, Brian. I agree. What are your, th- <laughs> what are your three preferred sides? Quick. Oh my God. I love turkey and dressing with green beans and mashed potatoes. Okay. Oh, dressing and mashed potatoes. Well, good the dressing stuff. goes yeah. on the top of the turkey. Okay. Go on. Continue. Anyway, so he Sorry got... Sorry, I let my food <laughs> porn get in the way. <laughs> Clearly. Okay. Um, so anyway, we go to the... And the whole time he's opened the doors for me. He's, you know, paying for drinks, whatever. We get to the table and he had already called ahead in order to have a bottle of, champ- of champagne chilling on the table for us. Oh. 
I mean, it probably cost him what, 15, 20 bucks, but it was something that lasted, I mean, made a lasting impression on me, right? Yeah, that's a good gesture. Yeah.